when you are walking your word and you walk in your path, it's you're more self-aware of sin. You're more self-aware of the challenges that you might face daily. And also, you know, as I read the Bible, I think about and as we judge people in the church so harshly, I think that's why a majority of us or many of us haven't went to church because you're thinking about everything the church that might be doing that isn't perfect. And it's unrealistic to think that, you know, everybody is going to be perfect. Everybody deals with their own transgressions, their own iniquities. And that's what we refer to God and actually understanding um, those things and how you know when you know uh, right from wrong you know God's covenant it's easier to not conform to what your fleshly uh, wants are it's easier to know okay maybe I shouldn't do that or maybe I shouldn't watch that or you know I so I think you know one of the things that you know I see in congregation and I think that's why God and said if you gather people together and talk about God's word everybody's different perspectives and how he has influenced their lives would it would help you have more and gain more insight on who he is and what he actually does for people who actually believe in him and believe he is our lord and savior so and congregating is having an open mind so when we go to church we're very closed minded we all looking around to see you know what what the surface is but Again, nobody is perfect. So when you are walking your word and you walk in your path, it's you're more self-aware of sin. You're more self-aware of the challenges that you might face daily on, you know, what you're actually going through or what you can't get over, or what you're addicted to, you know. And I think that's the reason for congregating is having an open mind. Uh, open perspective to things unseen and how the living God has worked in and out our lives so that's where congregation comes from and that's what makes it a lot easier when you are reading the Bible and how to interpret it oh you got that from that oh I got this from this so I think that's putting it into perspective for me on why you know church is very important and how it can help improve by listening to other people's stories and testimonies and letting them know that I know you may not be perfect, but we're doing everything we can to fight those fleshly desires that you might think that you actually want to act on when really when you know, okay, this is that person's story or this is that person's story or this is how they made it through from what they were feeling and, you know, this is how they got over feeling that way, you know, lust and, you know, um, you know, all of the challenges that you face knowing right from wrong knowing somebody else's story helps you in yours and how it gives you ideas on you know how could I be better at this or this is what they did when they were going through this so I think that would help me you know to con congregate and get with other people and actually speak of the word and you know uh, my story and his story and I think that's where you know bible study and Wednesday night service definitely comes how in the pastor the preacher the how all of them interpret God's word and how they break it down for you to have more understanding because we all trying to gain understanding. So again, you're not leaning on your own understanding when you have other influence that, you know, knows, you know, exactly how you're feeling in the moment that you're feeling it and why you're feeling it and how to overcome that feeling if it is not the right feeling to have or the right thought to have. It's not easy. It's not easy to always get out of your head. It's not. There's, you know, times that I'm like, you know, God, you know, I'm angry at this or, you know, I'm, I'm going through this thought process when you think that you're over something, you know, or you think that, okay, I'm wrong for thinking this, but, you know, I have to break it down. So it's been a lot of times that I've went to sleep and I'm like, God, let's go ahead and have this conversation. Or, you know, I'm thinking about all the things that I did when I was very sinful and of this world that, you know, I just broke down. I was like, you know, forgive me for this sin, God. And, you know, you allowed us to have our own thought process, our own way of life, our own 
you understand that your failure is your failure because you were able to do that. And when you don't know God in the right way, you kind of thinking, God, why you let me go through that? You know, we always question, you know, God, why you let that happen to me? Or why was I in that situation? Because you have a free will. And once you turn to God, your free will, it just, you no longer see it as I can do anything I want to do. <laughs> just like overcome that. Like, mm, I don't think I can do that. Or, you know, I understand that I was, you know, dealing with that situation, but you know, that was all me and I, I have no one to blame. But this was just a quick note that I had did last night I believe I think sinners think believers in Christ are perfect and if not they look for every flaw to call out so most of the time you know people who are watching my story in my podcast and know me from the past be like she ain't for real I'm very for real <laughs> I have definitely changed a lot of my ways and for my close friends who know exactly what that means is I am a changed person I can't forget about what I did in the past, but I know that now I know I'm no longer ashamed of it because I've accepted it and I've forgiven myself and God has forgiven me too. So knowing that makes everything better. But for people who don't believe, you know, that you can change, you won't know until you start reading and start understanding and start asking God why you're in the situation that you're in and you start taking in and digesting what type of life you live and what point you're at now and how he, if you're still able to breathe and you still able to read his word, you're covered. We want every preaching word to be pure. Fun fact, we are born into sin and the fact of the matter is we are far from it. We are more aware of sin, so we are not deliberate in sin. So when you're more aware in sin, you're not deliberately sinning. I think when I put that in perspective, it's things that you know that you shouldn't do, that you don't do. And if you know God's covenant, you know what you are able and not able to do. So you you don't deliberately sin. So saying a cuss word or you know Christ is a lot different because you know what the consequence is going to be like. And you know, you know, you know better. So I think that's what it means when you're not deliberately sinning is because you know better. We lust too, but we channel that energy into knowing lusting is sin. I personally channel those thoughts into why I feel that way and change my thought pattern. It's not easy, but whoever said living righteously was easy. <laughs> we say occasional cuss word or two. We have doubts in ourselves, um, but the path that God leads you to is eventually deliverance. You are more aware, so you are less likely to fall into sinful behavior because you stray away from what will take you back to the old you. So that's, you know, my take on understanding, you know, people who are, you know, finding their way, um, learning, bumping their head, you know, fighting these fleshly desires, these, these thoughts and these thought patterns is don't be in a rush to be perfect when you're dealing with everything that you've dealt with your whole life and when you understand that you are changing don't be so hard on yourself because God isn't he knows that you've been sinning he knows what your heart is when it's really pure so don't go to God you know sinning and thinking that you're just about to get away with everything because that's not how it works when you go to God a believer in Christ and you know that Jesus died for your sins and your transgressions you don't sin on purpose you don't give in to your fleshly desires because you understand that Christ gave his life because he knew that things of this world were going to influence us in a way that just reading the word, you know, and not understanding it or just reading the word and not fully believing that you think that you can live two lives and you can't. You learn to understand that people that are, you know, uh, have found Christ and newly found Christ that they still have some situations that they are still going through and he knows that and that's why you turn to God anyway so to tell people that they have to be perfect or the conversations they have has to be perfect or what they're doing has to be perfect is very is 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 closed-minded remember what I said earlier thinking deeper into the perspective of why somebody is still behaving the way they behave and 
once you really give your life to Christ, you understand that. I know that they fighting it. I know that they are trying to do right with their life. I know that they're trying to get right in their life. I know they're trying to follow a righteous path and to understand that everybody's going to have their own walk. And once you understand that, and that's why I'm thinking about, you know, a church and how we feel like, you know, everybody has fell out of church. Nobody is perfect. But I think, you know, getting people's perspectives on scripture and life, you know, is super important. And not to ingest everything people are saying, but to digest it and get what's beneficial to you or what's relevant to you out of it and not be closed minded. Because again, like I said, you can learn from you can learn from everybody. So <laughs> you know, know that and understand and that believers but... in Christ are not perfect. We all have the battles that we fight just like you are. You give yourself a small break, but you understand that knowing knowing God and knowing God's word, you don't deliberately sin. <laughs> You don't deliberately do something that you know is not right. So, and stop be stop willing to dismiss or discredit what you don't understand. Um, there could be a underlying message in something that you're not interpreting or that you're not giving a chance. So, please, you know, when you're having conversations with people about anything, just take in what you can. And be willing to accept accept the conversation, accept the dialogue for what it is, and think about how you feel in that moment and what you feel like is right or wrong. And then, and we also have to stop being so egotistical when we have conversations with people, or you know how we feel like I'm right, you're wrong. This is my story and how I feel in my podcast. This is just my perspective on what my content is about, you know, in this podcast. So when your ego is involved and to put it aside, when you're having conversations with people or you're exploring, it's easy to dismiss what you don't understand. So if you get anything from this podcast, know that sometimes put your ego aside and have an open mind. I'm very open minded. So there's you know all kind of things that you know i look at that i may not agree with but i i try to figure out what they mean how they might feel and what the other side of the topic is that we're you know they're discussing and what i can gain from it and what knowledge that i can you know uh, receive so thank you for tuning into this podcast i am super grateful for everybody who is watching and who is continuing to watch i just got a hat on today um you know it was just one of those days to where i want to get on here and i just want to have a conversation with you guys so thank you for watching my content if you like my content please subscribe and if you have any testimony or anything that you want to uh converse about or for me to discuss you know or do research on of what my point of view is please let me know in the comment box below and if you want to you can actually share uh this information but today's podcast was lean not on your own understanding believers in christ are not perfect but they are working on themselves in a better way with the help of god and understanding that gaining the spirit of god cleanses you cleanses your soul and renews your mind so Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next podcast. See ya.